actually before I continue let me actually go through and show you the books I bought for this month anyway your February because I don't think I updated my YouTube about it did I so I've got a bunch of books for Feb that I'm going to be reading so I'm really excited about that as you can see here from the picture I've got here reading holding up to my camera I've got like what is it seven books here seven or six six actually six books I like six so book number one here I've got Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Now, this is the same guy that also wrote Martian, so that should be really good. I've got a book here called Missionaries by Phil K. And it says here on the back, neither Mason, a U.S. Special Forces mythic, or nor Lisset, a foreign correspondent, has emerged from America's long wars in Iraq and Afghanistan unscathed, unscathed, sorry. Yet for them, war still exerts a terrible draw. Where else in the world can such a person go? All roads leads to Colombia, where the US has partnered with the local government to stamp out a vicious civil war and keep the predatory narco gangs all at bay. Mason is ready for the good war and Lisset is more than ready to cover it. So this should be a really, really good one. And allegedly it's the Barack Obama's book of the year also, which is hilarious. You know, Black History Month and all that. Even though he's, you know, mixed race and not black, whatever. Uh, then we've got another book here called All About Love by Bell Hooks, which I got recommended via Twitter. So Black Twitter, um, for some reason, was talking about this book for a very long time. It felt like a few months, for a couple of months, it felt like on Black Twitter, everyone was talking about All About Love by Bell Hooks. I know nothing about this book. I haven't even read the synopsis or anything. And I want to go into it blind so I can see what the hype is all about. So don't tell me anything. So I'm really eager to kind of check this out. And someone actually messaged me the other day and said, oh, um, it's funny you got this book because it's gonna it's gonna it's kind of i think they kind of said that it's considering my personality and how i speak about certain things it might be a bit of a um, discombobulator it might kind of fry my brain so i'm looking forward to it's fry my brain so let's see especially for the big hater that i am so to talk, to talk about a love book that's gonna be hilarious then i've also got my infamous life an autobiography of prodigy from mob deep who I'm, you know, one of a, a big fan of, you know, Mob Deep and Prodigy, just in general, in terms of rappers up there, they definitely will be in my top 50, dead or alive. It's all personal, of course, but Prodigy definitely one of my faves, so RIP to the GOAT. So I've got his autobiography, I've meaning to buy for ages. Then I've got another kind of cultural book that I kind of get recommended a lot all the time. Um, this one, which is um, Fire, in, Fire in the Belly by Cynthia Starr, The Life and Times of David Wojnarowicz. Is it how you say it? Wojnarowicz. 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 There we go here. See that? It says here, David Wojnarowicz was a teen, well, sorry, was a teen runaway who barely finished high school, but he emerged as one of the most important voices in the generation. He found um, his tribe in New York's East Village, a neighborhood noted in the 1970s and 1980s for drugs, blight, and the burgeoning art scene, and his creativity spilled out in paintings, photographs, films, texts, illustrations, and his life. His circle of East Village artists moved on. So he moved into the national spotlight just as the AIDS plague began and his devastating advance and arriving culture warriors targeted the arts. As the David Guy reputation as an artist grew, so did his reputation as an agitator because he dealt so openly with his homosexuality, so angrily in the circus as a person of AIDS, so fiercely with his world, so, so it would be censors. Fire in the belly is the untold story of a polarizing figure at the pivotal moment in American culture and one of the most highly acclaimed biographies of recent years. So I'm really looking forward to checking this out. I've read mixed reviews. Some people have said it's absolutely horrible and it's really overrated and the guy doesn't come across the greatest in this, but I'm eager to check it out. So it's a, and it's a bit of a thicky as well. And then lastly, I've got Brett Easton Ellis's new book, Shards. I'm super eager to check this out. I think the last book I read from Brett Easton Ellis, I think was the one, is it called like White or Grey? I forgot. I had an audio book that I listened to. I thought that was absolutely phenomenal. I was listening to that a while ago. So it's the last Brett Easton book that I've read. So I'm eager to check this out also. So this is a Shards, which has been getting some rave reviews also. I'm really eager to check this out. Really eager to check it out. So that's my books.